Hey beautiful people, so I found a little bit of the snippet where I can read. Wherefore, Solomon had many followers, and he took to himself wives of all which he chose. And Solomon had a small stables built for his horses and his asses. And Solomon was rich with earthly and worldly goods, and he used his material wealth for his own disadvantage to do these things which are not convenient. And Solomon looked down upon women with hate, and a woman's life was worthless in the eyes of Solomon. How about Solomon had a wedding ceremony and feast at one time, and he married 700 wives all at once, as referenced in the first book of Kings 11 and 3. All of the wives of Solomon were brought to the stables to live, eat, and sleep with the horses and asses. And the wives of Solomon were made to stay in their stables with the horses and asses and were not allowed to leave without permission from Solomon. And this decree was ordained by Solomon himself and any breaking of his commandment was punishable by death by the sword. And permission was never granted to leave because Solomon fared lest his secret would be revealed, not that Solomon was ashamed of his wicked, licious, licious, lewdness, and evil deeds. Rather, Solomon did not want to lose those followers who believed him to be Christ. Often Solomon came down to the stables and said unto his wives, Whosoever can last the longest shall receive a true queen's reward. Go near unto my horses, and make my horses go in unto you, and outdo the horse, and when you have worn out one horse i will bring you another and outlast each other and i will take the two winners onto my chambers and the two winners will be mothers of my children i shall grant unto them the seed of the son of david and solomon became so there you have it so and solomon said unto his wife that if they made him enough money that he would remove they would be removed from the stables to a better place but Solomon never kept his word with a woman, nor suffered he ever a woman to speak. Of all of his wives, none could speak with their mouth, but instead they were taught to express themselves with their bodies. And by chance, if any should happen to speak without direct specific permission from Solomon regarding what could be said, then the tongue of that wife who spake would be cut out and removed. But no tongue of the wives of Solomon was ever removed. Not that Solomon would not have done it, for the Lord knew his heart, and Solomon verily would have done it such a thing without hesitation. But it never came to that because warnings were given first, and for a first offense of the law for the wives of Solomon to be silent, all of the talkative's wives' teeth were removed, and their tongues were partially cut but not completely removed. Removal of their tongues were threatened next, and having no teeth was a constant reminder to fear Solomon, and take him serious, and not speak, and the wives of Solomon disobeyed him not. So they kept silent at all times, unless Solomon himself asked them to speak with their mouth. Now the two wives of Solomon who prevailed in the horse endurance, so this you can read some of this what I talked about and so, and then Solomon put their abused bloody bruised stretched red torn damaged wounds up on display for everyone to see so I um, I did find it now when men would pay to be with whorlets they knew not that the whorlets were the wives of Solomon <laughs> 